Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the other side of the bracket, or I guess I should say the other side of the round of four, round of eight, I should say. You have Keen versus Jiraiya, two American Zergs going head to head. 12 o'clock location, we have Keen as the gray Zerg, very stylish. Bottom right hand corner, we have Jiraiya starting as the blue Zerg. This looks like it is on Ascension. ZVZ, which I feel like has been my weakest casting lately. As far as getting back into it, I've had less ZVZ overall to be able to get back in the swing of things. Maybe in the Fighting Spirit Tournament, I will be able to catch th this up. But it's unfortunate to see two Americans go up against one another in this aspect, to see like, kind of the US versus US elimination match. Uh, I'm not sure how much Keen and Jiraiya play against one another, and I don't know what their quality of ZVZ is uh, overall. I know that Keen's a strong player, I know that is a strong player, so I just have to suspect that it's pretty solid both directions. We will see, it looks like we're gonna see an Extractor Trick from Keen to start. To get that extra drone out. No indicate. I think we're going to see a nine pool on the opposite side from Jiraiya. This is, by the way, Hasu League BSL Season 13 Round of Eight. Seeing who advances to the round of four out of this. It's also unfortunate to see Zerg get eliminated. Um, actually, I take it back. Jiraiya going with what is a somewhat unusual Zerg play. He's going to go for an in base nine hatch. And there's also a nine hatch opposite side from Keen, which we'll see how this plays out. But what this is going to result in is a stronger potential economy for Keen because he's going to have access to that natural expansion. Overlords, by the way, crossed each other so they know each other's location. But potential more aggressive play available to Jiraiya. The economy is going to be somewhat even in between. Spawning pool going down, an extractor being grabbed as well. So Jiraiya is going to have less surface area that he needs to defend. But he's going to have an equivalent amount of larva, and he's going to be going up against two problems. First of all, the distance he needs to traverse in order to get to Keen's base, so a closer reinforcement point. But at the very least, as far as Zerglings running about and creating havoc, there's a natural expansion that Keen has to defend and a main. But usually when you see this sort of setup, that does mean you're going to see aggressive Zergling follow-up. As complimentary play. Second hatchery up from Jiraiya. Grouping of Zerglings being built. Keen moving in. He's going to spot this in base. And we'll see if... Honestly, I almost wonder if it's worthwhile for him to drop a Sunken Colony at the main or the natural. This is... This is the aspects of ZVZ I still need to learn. Because having access to that second base, I don't know, feels like potentially could be a big advantage there. Zergling speed being grabbed for Jiraiya. Ah, oh, I feel so smart. Dropping the Sunken Colony, or the Creek Colony for a potential Sunken Colony to defend both locations. Additional drones being snuck by Jiraiya, but keep in mind, this is going to he has to do it aggressively with the Zerglings. On top of that, it looks like Keen skipped speed, so I think he's going to try to go for a faster layer. Sunken Colony about halfway finished. And the Zerglings, grouping of eight moving up to go against six and a Sunken, if Keen can micro this rather well, it will be an easy defense. Even amount of workers, slight supply lead for Jiraiya, but keep in mind the Sunken Colony is there in between. And there's the lair, significantly ahead of Jiraiya. Jiraiya actually moving out with an additional drone. Is he going to go for an aggressive? I'm wondering if he's going to go for an aggressive countersunk on a pocketed corner. Ten Zerglings on the front. Keen continuing to build his own. Another Sunken Colony being built. So he wants to have a defended natural expansion so that once he starts flooding Mutalisks, that will be it. Never mind that drone coming back. I was wondering if he's going to come out and try to grab that natural expansion. So Dryat potentially going to try to drop an Evolution Chamber and catch up from that side of play, but that's a very difficult position to play with. He does have a lot of Zerglings moving towards the natural. But two sunk colonies and a good grouping of Zerglings to block their walkway there. The Overlord does, in fact, see it across that corner. Is there going to be a third sunk drone waiting here hesitantly for Keen? An evolution chamber on the front door. Huh. Curious the decision there. Layer's finished. He sees a lack of layer from Jiraiya. Getting the evolution, maybe just to create more surface area to blockade. 
as a cheap building, I think that is the play there rather than going for any sort of weapons one follow-up. So he can feel safe just getting the Spire down. Because that is going to be the difficult point, is getting the Spire down and holding it. Keen actually behind in the overall worker count. Jiraiya has pumped a lot of drones in the midst of this. So he's seven drones ahead, which is huge as far as a follow-up. But Keen can flip that around in an instant if he can just get Mutalisks out in the air and in sufficient numbers. Drones actually, ooh, a little bit of an early Maynard, so Jiraiya losing a bit of mining time. And I take it back, level one weapons to follow up. So Keen has the layer advantage. Just now starting to remine gas, but he is going for level one weapons. In the meantime, Jiraiya just pumping drones. He's getting an evolution chamber of his own. The Overlord, not scouting anything, but the Spire now down. So Jiraiya actually with this sizable economic lead. He has a degree of ground control with all of the Zerglings here. But Keen getting a much, much faster Spire. Spore Colony already being planted for Jiraiya at that natural. So we'll see if Jiraiya actually feels comfortable enough with all of his positioning to go ahead and tech the lair and get his own play up. Meantime, I heard a little bit of a attack someplace. I think this Overlord being backed off. Yeah, it's that Overlord taking some damage right there. Hydralist then being planted. So Jiraiya now following this up with kind of an unusual counterplay of Hydralisks. Oftentimes, especially with ramps, it can be challenging in a lot of low ground, high ground play. It can be challenging to make that work. Level 1 weapons being upgraded on the Hydralisks. So Jiraiya potentially can win this. I've seen Herbmon pull it off here and there. But Hydralisks versus level 1 weapon Zerglings, not the best situation. Third hatchery being planted for Keen at the natural. Spire just finishing. And with a sufficient amount of Mutalisks, you can just run a, the mobility just ends up being a much bigger advantage. However, it is possible to win with this style of play. Jiraiya still holding that economic lead. Hydralisk speed being upgraded. More Zerglings being produced for Keen. Maybe he's going to try to sneak level 1 weapons, drawing off a handful of Zerglings. Two Mutalisks being produced, wanting to thin the herd on that front. Still no second gas, critically. Overlord going to go ahead and push back this, and actually the Hydralisk, if he can just get on the corner, might be able to... Getting these Overlords would be huge. Mutalisks engaging... The Zerglings on the front, certainly going to be able to get an Overlord kill there as well. The Zerglings in flight, Keen uh, losing the Overlord here on the corner, that's putting him in the red. The Hydralisks moving out. A fourth hatchery being planted for Dryah at the natural. Hydralisk speed now finished. And level two weapons being grabbed on these Zerglings. More and level one Carapace. Single Zergling moving out to scout. This Both players in the dark. I think this Zergling is trying to hunt and find an Overlord somewhere out in the field. Maybe for the Hydralis to sneak out and pick off. But this is the stage of the game where rather than... So dry with a superior economy. But a big upgrade advantage for Keen. He's grabbing his third. This is turning into a macro ZVZ. Which I have not seen in a very long period of time. The Zergling's fanning out. Handful of the Zerglings getting picked off immediately. I don't know if Jirai even thought to look at their upgrades. So a handful of Zerglings being picked off. So eight drone lead. Fourth hatchery up. Fourth hatchery, if Keen can get it up and defend it, he will take an economic lead. The Zerglings fanning out, moving their way towards the high ground. But the Hydralisks have level one weapons themselves, and they're fanning through. Here's the thing. Are there enough Zerglings... To defend the Hydralisks against the Zerglings from Keen. Keen now moving forward, sweeping down, wanting to engage before there's an opportunity. The Zerglings being thinned out. More pouring forward. And it looks like Jiraiya is going to defend this. Wiping out a lot of Zerglings. And I don't know that he lost a lot of Zerglings on the opposite side of the field. Keen did open up some supply, so that's something. But kind of a null attack. Another grouping of Zerglings right there. 
This is where Jiraiya might want to build a, a handful of more Zerglings just to have a bit more defense on the front just to blockade. Instead, sending those Zerglings out to go ahead and scout. Fourth base is up. Drones are being produced there. More Mulus in production as well. So this looks like six Mulus out in the field, but already more than a control group of Hydralisks to potentially engage this. This Zergling snuck through somehow. The creep colony being planted there, finding no drones here at the natural expansion, trying to hide. Trying to be coy, it's not going to happen. The Hydralisks now peeling forward for Jiraiya. They're going to catch another Overlord. Which is again putting Keen in the red. The Zerglings, not in a large enough grouping to engage these Hydralisks in open field. Where are the Mutalisks to do a potential two-pronged attack? There is a gap. Let's see if he's going to go to the high ground or whether... He, I assume he's going to go to the high ground to engage. The Sunken Colony being grouped up. Keen still in the red. As far as the follow-up, dropping a second Sunken Colony. The Zergling checking that gap. And the Hydralisks just pressing in. Very quickly taking out the Sunken Colony. The Zerglings engaging. The Hydralisks are overwhelming, though. Jiraiya looks like he has a sizable enough troop count, but he needs to move into this quickly. Waiting for reinforcements. He's grabbing his own additional base. And he's holding back. Oh, he missed an opportunity to honestly take this base. But he's got maybe it won't matter because he's waiting for reinforcements now. Level 2 weapons also on the way for these... Hydralisks only, yeah, now moving forward, now that reinforcements are here. Zerglings coming from the right. Hydralisks overhead. This still looks like an overwhelming amount of, of Hydralisks. It doesn't look like it's the best engagement point for Jiraiya, but he just has too much. Both sunken colonies getting wiped out. The Zerglings engaging from the right. This hatchery certainly going to get picked off, and I think that is going to be the defining, well, it's... Not sure that was going to be the, the end moment, but this is certainly going to be a moment... Where Keen falling much, much further behind. Has half the drone count of Jiraiya. Has lost his third. Jiraiya looks like he's going to get his third up. More creep colonies being planted for Keen. So he still wants to play this out. A greater Spire Morphing. To potentially counter the Hydralisks. So he wants to try to get those Mutalisks into Guardians. Maybe play the game from there. However, even if he gets... I don't know. I don't know that there's enough ground for those Guardians to maneuver over to be effective. Maybe just as a defense maneuver, it will help, but he needs to pump drones or something, and I don't know that it's going to happen. Maybe if he can get over this back area and get a surprise attack, but there's still spores that he needs to chew through, and Hydralisks can re-engage rather rapidly. Double Evolution Chamber now. Level 2 Spines Online. Level 1 Carapace. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to try to morph over this line and try to shoot the gap. I don't know how effective that strategy is going to be, though. Queen's Nest going down. And once Plague is there, these Mutalisks are not going to get a lot. It's going to be a very unhappy life. Plague is so strong. And Zerg versus Zerg. So things looking ugly for Keen right now. And the Hydralisks just in a defensive spot. This isn't a, an abusable area at the very least. Overlord getting picked away at. And Snare being upgraded. Queen also... So it's going to be Queen and Snare in the midst of this. But yeah, I don't see these Guardians getting a lot accomplished here. Hydralisk regrouping. They're looking for an area. Yeah, and the Guardians are slow is the other problem. So three Guardians not going to get it done. Hive morphing. I missed this guardian to the lower corner. Hydralisks are running up to go ahead and push that guardian back. And that guardian's actually going to get wiped out before it's able to escape. So Keen with kind of the last minute. Yeah, there's GG. Well played by Jiraiya overall. Fun ZVZ regardless. Not the typical. Thanks for listening, everybody.